Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Thursday, March the 28th. It's the third week in Lent and week five in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 86, and John chapter 8, verse 21 to 32. And now join me in singing the fourth verse of part two of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. If sin lay covered in my heart while prayer employed my tongue, then you had shown me no regard. Nor I your praises sung. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bend your ear, my God, and hear me. I am poor and needy. Psalm 86, and please recite it with me. Bend your ear, my God, and hear me. I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save your servant that trusts in you. Be merciful to me. I cry to you daily. Rejoice the soul of your servant. To you do I lift up my life. For you are good and ready to forgive and merciful to all that call on you. Give ear to my prayer, O beloved, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I call on you, and you answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, neither are there any works like yours. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, and shall glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your ways. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart with yours, that I may fear your name. I will praise you with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forevermore. For great is your mercy toward me, and you have delivered me from deepest hell. The proud have risen against me. The assemblies of the violent have sought my life. They have not set you before their eyes. But you are a God full of compassion, gracious, long-suffering, merciful, and truthful. Turn to me and have mercy. Give me your strength and save me. Show me a sign of your goodness, that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed, because you have helped me and comforted me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bend your ear, my God, and hear me. I am poor and needy. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 8, beginning at verse 21. Again Jesus said to them, I am going away, and you will search for me. But you will not die, you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. Then the Jews said, Is he going to kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, Where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, You are from below, and I am from above. You are of this world, and I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. They said to him, Who are you? And Jesus said, Why do I speak to you at all? I have much to say about you and much to condemn. But the one who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he was speaking to them about the Father. And so Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, 
then you will realize that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own. But I speak these things as the Father instructed me. And the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what is pleasing to him. And as he was saying these things, many believed in him. And then Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Comfort and help us, O beloved God. Teach us your ways, that we may walk in your truth, and in your tender mercy, save us by your strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.